We have a lot to do today. I think after Epic confirmed that we're getting fast travel, confirmed that we're getting Clombo with the butter cakes, it's really time that I collect as much material as I possibly can. So let's make another pickaxe, tier three damage on this bad boy, and let's get out there and start grabbing as much material as we possibly can. And if you guys remember at the end of last video, we farmed a ton of iron and even more bright core. That way we can make as many iron bars as possible. That's not only going to help us when it comes to storage and building better chests, but also going to help us with any possible new items that release in the game, because typically having the best items is going to help you create the new best items that release in the game. So I want to melt all of this iron down to an iron bar. That way I can make a ton of new storage, but I also want to try to explore as many of the Star Wars caves and be completely done with Star Wars Island before the new update comes out. So I think clearing out one cave per day is going to get us there. So I'm going to start off with the grasslands, clear all of these out, and then go up to the frostlands because I already did all the Tri Valley ones. And I know what you guys are thinking. I'm getting the most basic materials like knot root and marble, and I'm so far into this game. I get it, but keep in mind, most of the updates that Epic has made so far have been very beginner friendly. So I wanna make sure that I get as many of the basic materials and beginner materials as I can, just in case that a lot of the next update has to do with beginner style stuff. Because let's face it, if they're trying to bring in new players, they need to make sure that the content fits the new players. So we should be getting a ton of content drops specifically based for a lot of the new people coming to the game. I wanted to talk about how easy this game is now inside of the Grasslands Caves, and then I realized like this cave is pitch black. Like the shadows are going on my head and I have an Illuminator charm on. So why is it so dark in here right now? Now, does anybody in the comments know if they didn't fix this glitch? Because it looks like I could ping through this and go deeper inside of the cave. If you guys don't know, there used to be a glitch where you could go through the cave if you had a grapple. And now it looks like I might be able to go through there. I just didn't, I didn't bring my grapple with me. So I might as well just continue to farm and just keep that in mind for later on. It is funny that once you've played this game for a little bit and you have better charms or you have better weapons that going into grassland caves like this are just funny. You know, like you get hit by these weapons and you're doing one fourth of a heart. But if you were to be inside of the frostlands and get hit, you really got to start running around and like hiding from these people. It's just actually funny how ridiculous these caves are now once you've played for a little bit of time. So I guess that makes it kind of okay. Since you're only losing a fourth of a heart, that means that beginner level players can still really grind this out. And I guess if you are a beginner level player, you haven't played expert mode, that's not that big of a deal to lose a fourth of a heart when you're getting attacked. It's obviously a lot different once you go into the Frostland. So hopefully they continue to add to it, maybe make it just slightly harder for the more advanced players because yeah, going into these caves, I, I don't even worry about fighting these guys anymore. I just grab my materials and go because what's the, what are they going to do? One fourth of a heart? That's nothing to me. I'll just I'll eat a, a, a piece of meat and I'll be right back to nearly full health. I'm also super grateful for having a triple damage pickaxe to knock these out in one or two hits because same thing, when you're a beginner level player, these take five or six hits just to get them down. And obviously it works the exact same way in the Frostlands for us now, even with triple damage. So I wonder if we're going to get any type of stuff in the future that's going to give us more damage to these rocks in the Frostlands. Because imagine trying to go ahead and hit a piece of iron and because you have some legendary pickaxe, you could do it in just two or three hits rather than using a triple Triple damage and it's still taking three or four. But after filling up our entire inventory, we finally have the God Room. And this room is obviously going to be filled with a ton of knot root and marble, which is going to make me feel so much better about clearing out one of these caves. Because I know I don't need a lot of this material for really anything at all, but 
Hopefully in the next update, this grind right here was worth it and I actually needed some of this stuff because if I didn't need any of this and I didn't need any butter cakes, this is going to be a very miserable period of time for me where I know I just wasted a lot of time farming some materials that I absolutely did not need. But I guess in the future, I'm not going to need this stuff anymore. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we do get an update that has some of this stuff needed so I didn't waste too much time farming all of it out. And I think the worst part is I felt like I got so much done and I got so much knot root, but I don't even have half of a grand chest filled with knot root. I do have a lot of marble though, because I had some marble slabs as well. So I figured I might as well take this time to make myself some bigger chest and stuff like that. So I have another area for marble, but I'm gonna have to clear out another one of these caves. That way I could fill up a full grand chest of knot root and of marble. Now, the good thing is that I have so many iron bars because I went and I did that long expedition in the snow biome and inside of the dry valley to get myself a bunch of bright core. And on top of that, I made sure to have all of those kind of working while I was gone. If you guys aren't doing that and taking advantage of that stuff, make sure that you are because there's nothing worse than realizing you don't have something because you just didn't smelt it in time. But now I could place another grand chest in this area. I have at least half of a grand chest made, which is very nice of marble and I have a ton of other stuff as well so I don't have to do too much more farming when it comes to that stuff but the good news is that I have a decent amount of marble and not root I just need some flex wood and some other base materials now but could we get a farming check down in the comment section because I am putting absolute work in with all of my animals right now I got 50 vine for all of my cows to give me 150 milk and thanks to the comment section I actually was able to learn something from you guys which you guys teach me a lot about this game on things maybe I didn't realize or maybe I overlooked and that's that I could take the slapberry turn the slapberry into slapberry seeds or slap seeds whatever they choose to call them and then give them to the chicken to get double the output because right now I was being really stupid and just putting the slapberry in there now I get two to one on the slapberries which means instead of getting 21 total milk or 21 total egg I now get 42 egg from them which makes life so much easier now that the comment section hooked me up so anytime you guys see me doing something wrong make sure you comment it because truly you may be teaching something that maybe i didn't know all right so that makes me feel so much better because honestly the only thing i was falling short on at this point was the eggs i have a ton of milk now because of the vines Flour is so easy to get because I have so much wheat and wheat grain. The only thing I'm struggling with right now is the eggs and it's probably because I was wasting so much time just using regular slap berries rather than using the slapberry seeds and actually getting a ton of it back in return. So I have a ton of milk and flour. I have over 150 butter cake. Can I get a butter cake count down in the comment section? How many do you guys have right now in the game? I'm aiming to try to get towards at least 500 of it if possible. We're filling up an entire grand chest with it to see exactly what it's gonna be needed for when this update happens. Hopefully this isn't a situation like the knot root and marble that I just farmed where maybe I farm a ton of it and none of it's needed. We'll see when the update happens, but let me know what you guys are currently doing in your guys' expert mode or survival world while we wait for this update. What are you guys farming? What are you looking forward to farming? And everything like that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little farming video for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, this was Crafty. I'm out. Peace. YouTube thinks that you're going to like either one of these videos above. So click on one of them and let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Oh, and don't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already.